Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, so um, I received a dream last night and um, I woke up at 4 a.m. And the dream, I was in, I guess I was in Myrtle Beach where my family is, like my grandma and my mom, but um, they were in the dream with me and I was talking to them and I was like, um, I was like, mom, black smoke is coming to South Carolina. Um, and the weird thing is, is I said it was, they were talking about it on the radio. Um, or the news or something and I was like see I told you Jesus was coming and um, so anyway then I woke up and then I felt the Holy Spirit say look at your prophecies for black smoke in South Carolina and so I did and so I'm gonna read you the message because I felt like this is what Jesus wants me to do um, first I claim that um, he is the son of, of God he came in the flesh bled on the cross rose on the third day and was born of a virgin um, <clears throat> ignore the people trying to make um, impersonation accounts on me. I only have one account on YouTube, and so that's not me. Okay, um, so it was June 3rd, 2023, when the Lord spoke about black smoke in South Carolina. Um, I don't have time to read the scriptures, so I'm just going, because there's like five different messages in this one. But I did already post the video <clears throat> on TikTok and YouTube, so you can go back and look at the scriptures. There's a bunch. But here's the message. My child, I'm coming. Explosions are coming to Iraq. The financial system is going to collapse. It's soon. Barack Obama is about to step up and be in charge. You are going to see the turn of events change very fast. In the blink of an eye, a sense of peace and a calm feeling, and at the sound of a trumpet, destruction and chaos will commence. Did you see the beautiful sun today? Big and beautiful with a red-orange tint. Keep looking at the moon. You will see a haze with a halo around it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It will look cloudy and mysterious, but beautiful at the same time. Your eyes will be drawn to it, and you will not want to stop looking at it. I want you to keep looking up. I'm using this time to encourage the body of Christ. Not everything meets the eye. Remember, everything I speak means something. I'm leaving you a trail of breadcrumbs so you can find my true calendar date. You are inquisitive, and I like that you are searching for me. There's more events coming. You will see everything so clearly so soon. I told you to look up what cometh means. It means something. Do not lose faith. Do not lose heart. I'm coming sooner than you think. I love you. I'm your Abba and I've spoken. Trains, more trains, more black smoke. It's coming. Toronto, Wyoming, New Mexico, South Carolina are just some of the places that are going to see a black haze of smoke covering the horizon. Repent and believe in me, children. I'm trying to save you. I love you. I'm your Abba, your father and friend, and I'm delivering you soon. Keep watching. And then he gave me more scriptures. And then here's another message. What do my numbers mean? What does 144 mean? There is a double meaning to my words. Is it the wilderness? Is it a location? Is it beginning to the end? Is it the bride, my chosen ones? I'm very descriptive with my words. I have designed everything. It's obvious to see if you know what you are looking for. Do you understand what the number means? Have you read it always? Triumph, victory, harpazo, the bride gets caught up. Who is my bride? What key do they have? I've told you the key and what it means. It's an open door and in the spirit listening to me and letting me guide you to truth, asking me for discernment. Do you have faith in me? Do you trust only me to save you? Guys, he's joined the line right now. There's so many people condemning me and Guillermo and, and other people. Um, and they don't realize that God has ordained all of this and they haven't been seeking Jesus. And I know God has a plan, so I'm just going with it. But he's testing you right now. He says it in this prophecy. Do you know me? Do I know you? Are you praying to me? Are you worshiping, waiting for my glory to shine down? I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Children, you make it way more complicated than it needs to be. Why are you being a worker bee? Have you tested the spirits? Can you recognize the Holy Spirit? Are you walking in light? Or are you still in darkness? I tell you the truth. If you are walking in spiritual darkness, you are not practicing the truth. Who am I? Am I the great I am? I am your Messiah. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. I'm sorry, he says, 
Who am I? I am the great I am. I am your Messiah. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Why are you running from the truth? Why are you rejecting me and denying my love? You are broken and you blame me for your tribulations, not trusting or knowing my true plan for your life that I have already set in motion. Not everything meets the eye. To understand, you have to truly seek me and ask me for discernment or you will miss everything. I told you it's in front of your face, but your heart is misguided and you walk in deception, attacking my anointed ones. Did I command you to speak? Do I need defending? I'm the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Children, wake up, O oh sleeper, this is the end, but it's all beginning and the next event is fire in the cities. I am sounding the alarm. Believe in me, confess, I am Lord and I will save you. I love you. I am your Adonai, your Jehovah, and I have spoken. Then he gave me another scripture, and then he said, It's not just one fire, there will be many. Lots of cities will burn, darkness falls, and you, the remaining who comes to me, will have to seek shelter. I will rain down fire and give you a spirit to guide you, to protect you. When my spirit is removed and my chosen ones and children are removed, I will send another to teach you to witness and gather new sheep for my kingdom. I will never stop trying to save you. Revivals and new revelations will commence everywhere. I would rather you be at the wedding feast, but many are not going to make the supper. My door will close when the trumpet sounds. Seven, my child, seven is the key. I love you, believe in me, have faith, and I will save you. My grace is effortless, given to you freely if you accept it. And here in more scriptures, and here's another message. Josiah the king, did he have faith? Was he reluctant to follow my will? Did he love me? Do you love me? Are you reluctant to follow my will? You follow my commands when you love me. <clears throat> when you have faith and trust in me and believe in me, you have my spirit. All you need is a mustard seed of faith. Do you have it or are you oppressing my truth? Have you prayed to me? Have you asked for my will to freely be given to you? Is salvation not a free gift? If you love me, would I not give you what you ask me? If you love me and believe in me, what you ask of me will be aligned with my will for you. Again, the path is very narrow. You search the scriptures, but the true meaning of my word escapes you. I want you to read my word and worship and pray to me, but I want you to ask me for guidance and understanding. Remember, the man will never know the truth of what the Spirit knows unless they are guided by my Spirit, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Spirit of Truth. And then more scriptures and another message. Can you enter heaven in the flesh? So why are you still walking in the flesh? Why aren't you led by the spirit? Where is your faith? Where is your love? The spirit of truth is loving one another. The spirit of truth is knowing me and knowing my voice. The spirit of truth is forgiveness. Put down your fiery arrows from the devil and stop attacking your brothers and sisters. We are all one spirit. And if you are truly one of my sheep, you are mine and you will never escape my love but you have to walk in love truly I say to you love is the key I will change your heart I will renew your mind I will give you a new heart of flesh and get rid rid of the heart of stone I am testing you children guys just the other day you said the heart of flesh is when you truly are born again because it's his flesh that died on the cross he gave me that revelation the other day I am testing you children are you passing my tests are you a wheat or are you a tear a tear won't produce good fruit they will be broken off and tossed in the blazing fire fire are you baptized in my spirit and water who am i am i not your water am i not your bread of life my body was broken so you might live through faith through believe in me what did i die for i am showing you your fruits reader pay attention you will wish you had listened the destruction and chaos coming no man has seen if you have ears to hear listen learn warnings are final and once my judgment commences you will have to die for my glory if you believe in me before you die i will save you but i don't want death for you i want life for you my heart is broken once my judgment comes my gentleness and kindness is no more you will be judged as the wicked unless you repent and believe in me please children i'm trying to save you i love you and i wish for not one to perish the dawn is breaking look up i am your redeemer your rescuer and i have spoken 
and he gave me more scriptures and so that's on on TikTok and youtube you can see the whole thing with the scriptures just like part one and part two i believe guys after i went back to sleep at four he gave me another dream of a big storm coming guys jesus is coming please get out from under the law and just believe he finished it on the cross god bless